Johnny, nobody in that clubhouse has seen him play as of yet, but they've certainly heard the same things that you and I have heard, that Turner has a lot of ability, that he's got a good, uh, good wheels, good speed. He's a good defensive player, can play it short. Uh, he's been getting some time at second base as well the last couple days while at Syracuse, and they're excited to see how he can help this ball club. Matt Williams said that it's, it's kind of be a day-to-day -day thing depending on what the team needs from him, but he could be a guy who we could see in late-game situations, pinch running, maybe a bat, a bat off the bench to give the Nationals uh, a little bit of pop. He makes good contact. So we'll see how, t how uh, Trey Turner is going to be used, but this is a guy who Mike Rizzo has coveted. The Nationals made the trade for him that also brought over Joe Ross in December. They didn't get Turner in the system until June because he had to stay under contract with the Padres for a full year after he signed his first big league deal, uh, but Rizzo is very excited to finally have Turner in the organization and now have him up here helping the big league club. With Trey, we felt Trey was going to be a September call-up anyways, and uh, just we felt that uh, maybe this is a time to inject a little more speed, youth, and athleticism into into the uh, into the ball club, and uh, we felt it was an opportune time to you know maybe take advantage of some of his skills. Well, he's gone through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations this year. Uh, you know, with, with that said, he, he he takes he takes a while to warm up to each each level that he's played at. So, uh, you know, we're not expecting him to be the you know the the savior of of the offense or the savior of the ball club. We just want him to uh, to do what he does best, add his skill set to to uh, to Matt Williams' arsenal of, of, of tools to uh, to win ba baseball games. And uh, you know, right now that's what we're about. We're we're here to win games, and uh, you know, we're not uh, trying to develop at the big league level. We're just trying to win games. And we're injecting players that we think have skill sets that'll help us win. Mike, you don't evaluate a trade six months after it happened. Obviously, there's more that needs to develop. But for you to get Joe Ross and Trey and have them be a part of this big league ball club as you make a playoff push, what are your just thoughts on that deal overall for you guys? Well, you know, the deal made sense for both clubs, uh, for all three clubs, and that's that's what the reason we we made the deal. You know, we gave up a good player to get good players, and uh, that's the type of trades that I like to have. You know, win-win on both sides. You know, we're proud of both uh, Joe. And Trey, and uh, and you know we we like the fact that uh, they're young, athletic, and uh, and you know controllable, and and uh, guys that we could build with uh, you know throughout not only in 15 but beyond. Now, Turner, as I said, brings a lot of different things to this Nationals ball club, and because the Nats are working with the short bench, they have eight relievers right now. When Tyler Moore sprained his ankle on stepping on a ball in the batting cage, the Nationals decided that they needed to make a move, even if Moore was only going to be out for a couple of days. So they bring Turner up, and as Rizzo said, they don't expect him to be the savior. This is a, a move that a lot of fans are excited about. They've heard about Turner's skill set, how much he could impact this team, but the Nationals don't expect him to solve any major problems right away. They just like having his skills here on the team, and Matt Williams is going to decide how best to use Trey Turner.